Kia. I'm Megan. And I'm DeSandra. And we're here at the 12th Annual Fashion Africana celebrating the dance, art, music, and beauty and diversity of the African culture. And we look forward to this every year. Fabulous fashions and fabulous people. Are you guys ready? I'm ready for the show. City Style and Fashion Africana. Kia Tomlin, one of the fabulous designers tonight here at Fashion Africana 2013. Kia, are you excited about the show? I am excited about tonight. I designed these designs specifically for um, this event and knowing that we're going to be using um, some beautiful African jewelry, so I wanted my designs to be more of a backdrop instead of front and center. I just want them to let the jewelry and the artwork pieces stand out against them. Awesome. I'm really excited about tonight. This is your second year uh, with the Fashion Africana family. How do you think that this year would be um, and kind of an upgrade to, to what you've seen already? Um, well, for me, last year I designed just two pieces. I was given the fabric and um, just created two pieces to go along with the other designers. Um, this year, Demetria asked me to create um, more pieces, so I have eight looks um, this year. And um, I, I, to me, that's a, the upgrade for me. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a step up. We're here with Jeffrey Smith. He's one of the designers for Fashion Africana. He has be beautiful jewelry here today. So tell me about your pieces. Uh, my pieces are inspired by um, um, places in Santa Fe, New York, and Pittsburgh, actually. Um, they're organic and um, complicated in their structure, but Beautiful. So the models will get a chance to see the beautiful models wearing your pieces today? Yes, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited, yes. So what does it mean for you actually, for you to be able to represent your jewelry at a, such a great event like Fashion Africana? Uh, it's a great, for me it's, it's great exposure and I think that the my jewelry re will represent the, the fashion and the models. So I'm, I'm excited to be in the show. I am here with the legendary Bill None, the one and only Radio Raheem. So excited here at Fashion Night for Crown. How are you tonight? I'm excellent. It's cold outside. So it <laughs> feels good in here. I'm also here with his beautiful daughter, Sydney. How are you this evening? Hi, I'm well. <laughs> are you guys excited about Fashion Africana? Every year, um, you know, we, we come out to see what Demetria is going to do new this year. And uh, so, of course, we're always excited. All the beautiful models and everything. Excuse me, but, you know, that's why I come. Sydney, what is it like for you to see such a wonderful cultural event here? Because you've only been here a short time, correct? Yeah, this is actually my first taste of color, really, in Pittsburgh, to be completely honest. So it's great to see everybody here. Everybody looks amazing, and um, I'm excited for the show. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to speak with me. All right. Hey, what's up? This is Allegra from City Style, and I'm here backstage at the 12th Annual Fashion Africana. And the models are getting ready, they're getting makeup, they're getting hair, and we're ready to go. We're so excited. See you
12th Annual Fashion Africana, and we are with the creators of this wonderful event. I have Demetria here and also Darnell. Last year I was here, and it was a different theme, okay? And this year we have another theme. So tell me, how do you create the themes each and every year? And tell me about this theme first. Okay. Well, actually, this theme is celebrating the 25th anniversary of Do the Right Thing. And so our season of programming is celebrating black men in fashion and the arts. And so last year we kicked that off with the work of Mario Apagna and the exhibition of Glamazonia, which celebrated black beauty through hairstyles and ceremonial dress. And this year, we had the opportunity to highlight the work of Pittsburgh native Bill Nunn. And we thought it was just a perfect opportunity because this is also the 25th anniversary of the Do the Right Thing. Well, with Do the Right Thing, if you notice in the movies, it was very colorful. Um, so it, it dealt with like leather goods, from hats, like the hat I'm wearing, to like um, leather jackets, um, just powerful strong men, Spike Lee with the Bermuda shorts with, you know, the pattern with the African print. It was so much so celebrating who we are as men. So, and I think they got that tonight. Oh my God, I had so much fun. Me too, I can't wait until next year. It was fabulous. And until next time, keep it stylish in the city.